Welcome back once again, friends, to Mayo the Series. In today's video, we're going to ask the question, did the YouTuber Adrastia send nude photos to a 13 to 15 year old boy, she never really specifies, on the Recolor Me app, and then call the young boy a predator? Well, if you want to know the truth on this one, ah, uh, kinda, probably 30% chance. I've never really bought into this. I think somebody just told her that, and she went on a tirade of rants where she made some pretty sick admissions about her opinions regarding what a child is, as well as shows how she can just absolutely never take any responsibility for anything she does. We're going to watch her try to convince us that a 14-year-old boy that hit her up for nudes and received them was the predator, and that she's going to ruin his life for that, as if the topless pics didn't do that already. Again, to be clear, I've never seen any proof that this person is not of age. What it's referencing is a video you can find in Mayo 1 that we'll watch now, where Adrastia got, uh, well, she got outsmarted. She got outfoxed by somebody asking for nudes. Um, I made a mistake this morning. A couple of weeks ago, a person offered me money for naked photos. I have sold pictures in the past to a friend that I knew very well. And I got desperate enough to attempt it again because I am homeless. And of course there was no payment. And now I just feel used. I told myself I wasn't going to care. You know, because it's not that big of a deal. It's just a picture. See, a they were trying to be nice last year. This is someone that's been pushing this for a while. You know, telling me to ignore the negative comments, don't let people get to me, stuff. Okay, so then he changes and says, send nudes for money. How fat are your tits? This was almost a year ago. You know, well, 58 days ago, he was still asking. So, four days ago, when I was really struggling, I asked if he was still willing to pay. And he said yes but I need to answer quicker, even though it took three days for him to respond. You know, $50. I sent my PayPal. What's your email? I sent the email. I sent one pic to prove that I would, and then asked for the money before I sent more. Send a picture of your ass and you'll get money. I'm not sending more pictures for free. I've already sent one. So, why would I scam you? Why, why scam a homeless woman of her dignity? You know, humans are garbage, that's why. Why else? I did let down my barrier enough to take a picture that I sent to this person that I thought was going to help me get through this life, to help me get a little bit of weed, and in the end it's not really going to matter. They're going to share that picture all over the place. And the whole world is going to see me naked. And all my fat and ugliness and it's going to be completely free. Now what I think happened here is somebody watched Mayo and then just told her that person was 14. That's truly what I believe. Never let it be said that in all of these videos I made, she was always guilty of everything. In this one, she may or may not be. 
But the thing that really indicts her as a terrible person here is how she goes about defending herself from it. Also, just to be clear, the Recolor.me website has an age gate of 13 years old. Adrassi admits she knows this too. So it wasn't exactly a smart thing to do sending nudes to people on this site who use phrases like, do you got a big ass? It very well might have been a 14 year old little black kid or something. And if that's the case, you got outsmarted by some kid. I do not believe this makes Adrassia a pedophile. I don't believe she intentionally sent her boobies to an underage child. I think she's just stupid and she'll do anything for we, as we can see here. I'm not trying to indict her 100% for doing this. Like I said, 30% chance it was an underage. Oh, the chance exists. You'll see that. What I'm trying to impress with this video is that Adrastia refuses to take responsibility for anything. It's not her that messed up. What she did is completely reasonable and she'll defend it for the next 20 minutes to you. It's the 14 year old that is a predator and should be labeled a sexual predator the rest of his life for taking advantage of poor, mentally ill, homeless 38 year olds. That is her argument. And with that, let's watch part three of Mayo the series. So now they have changed the story and they're saying that it's not pictures of me at 13 that are being sent out. It's pictures of me that I sent to a 14 year old. So what happened was last year, I, I, I use a site called Recolor Me. It's a forum. It's an anime forum. Um, it's not for children. The site was never intended to be for children. I believe there's even a disclaimer that you're supposed to be at least 13 or 14 to use the forums. It's not for children. The site was never intended to be for children. I believe there's even a disclaimer that you're supposed to be at least 13 or 14 to use the forums. Yeah, I don't know if anybody told you, Mary, but that's a child. This is not a site you should be sending pornography to random people on. It's not a site for children, and there are a lot of adults on it that have been on it since it started. And I'm one of them. Okay, that's a fair point. I play video games where there might be kids on some of the servers for all I know. That's why I don't send anybody pornography on Steam. Last year, in desperation for some money, I sold a photograph of my breasts on that site. They messaged me, right? Like... I signed on to Recolor one day and I had a private message and the private message was offering me $50 for naked photographs. And you didn't find that at all suspicious? You can join literally one of any of millions of OnlyFans for like only $5. You can get pornography itself for free. You never asked yourself why this person is offering you 50 bucks? I didn't ask any questions. I didn't ask how old they were. I didn't ask who they were. I was desperate for some money. As an adult, as a 35 year old woman, I was willing to take photographs of my breasts for money. Like, hey, I'm gonna have to stop you right here. I get your point and what you're trying to say about I'm an adult and I'm allowed to photograph my breasts. I'm a self-actuated modern woman and I'm body positive and all that. And that that's a good point in many, many arguments. Unless it's an argument about sending pornography to children. Then bringing up that you're an adult might work against you. Dum dum. I took one photograph and sent it to them. They never paid me. And I didn't send them any more pictures because they didn't pay me for the first one. And I'm only finding out today 
that that person was underage and that person has now sold the picture and they're saying that they're going to put me in prison as a pedophile because I, I took it and I sent it to this person and he was underage or she was underage and all this. And I had absolutely no way of knowing how old they were. I didn't ask how old they were. I was not intentionally sending naked photographs to children. I was selling photographs of myself. Okay, first, stop. Selling it doesn't make it better. And second, I don't think anybody thinks you went out looking for children to give pornography to. I think this is a matter of just being dumb and maybe like gross negligence. Why, why would I have assumed he was a child? Why would I have assumed I was doing something wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. Here's a short list of things she's done wrong so far in this story just thus far, about a minute and a half into it. You solicited nude photos of yourself online on a site with a 13-year-old age gate that specifies in its terms that nudity and pornography are not allowed. You made no attempt to even ask the age of the person requesting the photos. You were tricked into sending these nude photographs without payment up front. You are admitting to this or talking about it at all in public. Call a lawyer and shut the fuck up. Fuck the bullshit. As soon as the photos are released, I guess I can get the information about who it was that really got it and go to the police and let them know that this 14 year old is online pretending to be an adult and buying t these types of photographs from women and then using them to, to hurt them later. I didn't ask how old they were. Yes, Mary, go to the police station and tell the cops that you gave pornography to a minor and it's his fault. Because he was not old enough to buy the photograph, and so obviously the woman who needed money should be punished. So they're saying now that it's, I'm going to prison, it's my fault because it's up to the adult to make sure that the person they're sending pictures to is not a child. Uh, yeah, that's correct. My question now is, if a child was to buy a Playboy illegally, you know, but they somehow got the money and lied about their age and bought a Playboy, would the models in that magazine be considered pedophiles because they sold naked photographs of themselves for adults? and a child purchased it. Uh, no. In the story you just provided, the person who sold the child the pornography would be held responsible. Which in your case is also you, you stupid idiot! Why did you say that? Would the models in that magazine be considered pedophiles? I sold a naked photograph of myself for an adult and a child purchased it. And now I'm possibly gonna go to prison. I mean, I don't know if you would get prison time for that, but yeah, you'd, you'd probably get in trouble because you're the one that sold the photograph, you idiot. It's a felony because I sold photographs of myself to what I thought was an adult and turned out to not be an adult, but a devious child who was out to ruin lives. <laughs> the, the, the oh yeah, yeah, the child's the one responsible here. The 14-year-old boy is the one at fault. He's, he's an evil, devious, terrible predator who outsmarted you and got a picture of your boobies. Some like, by according to you, and from what I can gather according to this story and what we're gonna see in the messages, some 14-year-old black kid tricked you that still doesn't help your case. Has a, has a Playboy bunny ever been arrested because a kid found a Playboy under his dad's bed? I don't know, did a wonky-eyed psycho pop out from under the bed and charge him money for it? I'm gonna go to prison because a child scammed me out of naked photographs. They messaged me. I didn't know. I just knew that I was desperate for some money. And 
now they're gonna put me in prison and they're gonna hurt me and they're gonna beat me and they're gonna kill me because a 14 year old messaged me online offering to buy photographs from me. Okay, Adrastia. First of all, you have no proof that this person was 14 other than the word of some asshole in your comments. I think maybe you should shut up and stop specifying that you very specifically sent pornography to a 14 year old and that you believe this 14 year old to be the predator for asking and you hold no responsibility whatsoever in the because you just needed money for weed and it's totally okay to break the law including predatized children if you need money for weed. I What you should have said was nothing. What you said was the worst thing. And now that 14 year old is gonna put me in prison because he says I committed a crime by selling that photograph. God. They're gonna put me in prison. I'm gonna go to jail and all over a picture. A picture of my breast, a picture that nobody even wants to see. He only asked for somebody he could use it against me to hurt me in life later. <laughs> what kind of a child does this? What kind of a 14 year old child is so devious that they're messaging older women to get things against them just so they can put them in prison later just for their own fun? <laughs> And they're gonna kill me, they're gonna beat me, and they're gonna hurt me. <laughs> they're gonna hurt me. <laughs> All because of my breasts. I'm go they're gonna hurt me because I have a picture of my breasts. They're gonna hurt me. <laughs> they're gonna hurt me. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... <laughs> they're gonna hurt me because I needed some weed. <laughs> You know, Mary, I need you to stop talking about weed because I advocate for the legalization of cannabis and you're exactly the person that the people against that are talking about. You have offered to fillet anyone in Los Angeles for a gram of weed. And now you're telling me that you sent pornography to a child for weed. And furthermore, you think it's okay because you really, really needed the weed and that should exonerate you from committing this crime. I need you to shut up about marijuana or we'll never get it legalized anywhere else. I just needed some weed that day and he was offering me money and if anybody offers me money I take it because I always need something I need help. Wow, that sounds sad. Until you realize that her rent is completely paid for every month, all of her bills, she gets $200 in general relief, free health care, free doctors, free therapy, food stamps. So what is the super desperate need that justifies giving a 14 year old pornography of yourself? offered me money and I took it and he didn't even send the money that's why I only sent one photograph because he offered me money and then he didn't send any money <laughs> it was just a scam he was a child that was trying to set me up so that he could put somebody in prison and <laughs> let this be a lesson to all of you hoes out there I just went back and looked at the video that I made the day that I got scammed for those pictures and I was still homeless when that happened. I was staying in a hotel but I was still technically homeless when this child scammed me for these pictures that they are now going to put me in prison for. A child asked a homeless woman for naked photographs and offered her money. I was homeless and desperate and now I'm gonna die in prison because I was homeless and desperate and a child took advantage of that situation. 
Nah, you'd probably be looking at probation if this was ever proven to be real, which I severely doubt it is. Once again, I'm not trying to put over that Adraskia actually sent nudes to a child. I mean, that's possible. She admits she didn't check and she was on a site that had a lot of children on it. I just think the way she's defending herself and justifying it and calling the child a predator is fucked up. And wait, it gets much worse. All of these videos get worse. Why would you go out of your way like that to ruin somebody's life? Who has nothing? I was literally homeless at the time. I could not have gotten any lower in life and now they're... They were setting me up to ruin my life. <laughs> they were setting me up to destroy my life while I was already homeless. Never expected a child to do this. You expect adults to do this to children. To follow a child and take pictures of them. But you never expect a child to stalk an adult for the purposes of putting them in prison. <laughs> I was literally stalked by a child for the sole purpose of putting me in prison. I just knew that I was desperate and needing money. I was literally homeless. <laughs> we all literally found a homeless person and then convinced them to give you something for money just so you could put them in jail for it. Well, Mary, I'm really sorry that you're the victim of you sending pornography to a minor. We live in an age where anybody can go to RedTube or Pornhub and get pornography completely free online without having to verify your age or anything. I know, that should have been your first clue that you were getting scammed when somebody offered you 50 bucks for your saggy boobs. We live in the age of legal free porn for everyone. Porn is not legal for kids, Mary. What the fuck is wrong with you? So what reason did I have to think a child was going to stalk me for a year? When porn is free online, why would you pay f for somebody else's? Just specifically, this homeless person, I specifically want to pay for this homeless woman's titties. It was entrapment. I can almost guarantee that the, f the parent of the child involved in this helped them, put them up to it. I normally never even send pictures like that, but I was so desperate I just wanted some weed to feel better that day. And he was offering $50 for just titties. Apparently you're not familiar with the phrase, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. I never had any idea of how old the boy was. I never had any intention of sending naked photographs to a child. I never had any idea that a child would do these things. I didn't realize that we live in an age where children will stalk and harass adults and ruin an adult's life. This child has destroyed the rest of my existence. Hi, I'm from a year and a half in the future. You're fine, shut up. Because of a, a picture picture of my titties. I didn't have a lot of money when I was a child. I didn't, when I was 14 years old, I couldn't have offered somebody $50 for a photograph. But apparently now, they do. They have the money and they can offer, they offer homeless people money to commit crimes. And then they put them in jail for those crimes. And these people, these children, they're just, they're just children. They don't even understand the impact of what they're doing. They will one day. He's a child now, but in a couple of years, he's not going to be a child anymore. And if he keeps asking people for pictures, he might wind up with the wrong ones and get himself in trouble. A child that's this deceitful and manipulative and cruel and just wanting to put homeless people in jail. 
The fucking based one. In support of my family? Jesus Christ, you can't get more part of my family than that. Of course! Aunt Kathy learned to time travel and went back in time and posed as this young boy. It all makes sense now. You're just the Sarah Connor out here. I need help. I'm, I'm in full panic mode. I can't, I can't think. I can't breathe. I can't function. I need five dollars to go and get some weed. Otherwise, I'm just gonna sit here and hurt myself waiting for the police to come and take me away for the rest of my life for for being entrapped by a child, for having a child ask me for those photographs. I didn't send them for no reason. I didn't send them trying to be in a relationship with a child. They asked me, they said they were gonna pay me for that. They for, for over a year, for over a year, they messaged me wanting these photographs, offering me money. I didn't even wanna be in a relationship with them. I didn't wanna have anything to do with them. I just needed the money. Hey, hey, calm down, addict. Nobody thinks you're a pedophile. We just think you're a giant stupid idiot. And now you're trying to call a child a fucking predator for tricking you because you're an idiot. Where are they? I've been waiting all afternoon. I've been scared and crying and throwing up and waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're just, they never show up. They never show up. I keep hearing sirens, but then there's never a knock on the door. They never show up. When are they going to show up? What is happening? Y'all have already told me you've reported me 30 times, 30 different of you. You reported me for the pedophilia. So why are, why, where, 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 where are they? Where, where are the police? Where are the authorities? Why, why am I still sitting here crying and waiting to be arrested for a crime that I didn't even really know I was committing? Oh shit, I don't know. Remember a minute ago when I told you you were an idiot? I'm going to go with that. I'm going to spend the rest of my life in prison as a pedophile. But I'm going to fight to make sure that whoever it was that set me up also spends the rest of their life labeled as a- But I'm going to fight to make sure that whoever it was that set me up also spends the rest of their life labeled as a sexual predator. At 14 years old, you're out harassing homeless women. 14 years old. What 14 year old is looking at homeless women and offering homeless women money using their wealth? A rich one. I didn't receive any in return. I didn't ask for any in return. It was never any kind of a relationship. I was a homeless mentally ill woman that needed money. And a 14-year-old child took advantage of that and he, he, he trapped me and he's wanting to be in prison for the rest of my life because he entrapped me and... How can that not be considered a sexual predator? <clears throat> because he is a child! That's a predator. I was entrapped by a predator and now I'm going to go to prison for the rest of my life, but I swear to you that I will make sure that whoever this is, whether it's a girl or a boy, they will spend the rest of their lives as a sexual predator. I will fight. I will fight to make sure that that 14 year old is known as a sexual predator for the rest of their life. Ah uh, yes, Vengeance Drastia. The one who's gonna make sure that you suffer the rest of your life because of some perceived slight to her. Remember, she doesn't even know what this person's age is for sure. She hasn't looked into it. She's just been rolling off on a tangent explaining more and more and more how, yeah, I totally send nudes to random people and that's okay and if it turns out to be a child, that turn, then it makes the child a predator somehow. And you're gonna fight for the rest of your life to make sure that this kid is ruined for asking you to see your titties on an app when he was 14. That's a reasonable response. I'm sure you're getting a whole lot of support for this one. I had to leave the apartment. I, I couldn't sit there and cry and wait for the police anymore. They're gonna have to pick me up wherever they find me. I, I can't get with this. I, I managed to get up a couple of dollars doing recycling, so I'm walking down to the dispensary, which is about six miles away, but that's fine. 
So let me get this straight. You're so desperate for weed that you sent your tits to some kid according to you. And now this has come back to bite you in your ass. And the answer is more weed. I mean, just get this straight. You're living in such poverty that every dollar counts and you can't even eat or buy tampons for yourself. And even we couldn't even go through this video without having one where you start whining about needing money. But now that you have a couple dollars, you're gonna spend it to get high. You're a fucking addict. Let me put out the room anyway. I just can't handle this. I can't, I, I'm just, <laughs> I've been in freak out mode all day started last night I never imagined that a child would do something like this I never in my life imagined that there would be children online messaging adults who are mentally unwell and homeless and offering them money for photographs that they're going to take to the police to put you in jail for the rest of your life with like you always hear people telling people that to, kids to watch out online because there are adults that are looking for kids. There are adults that are trying to hurt kids, but there are kids that are trying to hurt adults. <laughs> it's so fucked up. There are kids that are trying to hurt adults. There is a child that manipulated me into sending them a picture and they're going to put me in jail. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life behind bars, but his life is over too. That's what you will need to understand. He, if, if this person doesn't get labeled a sexual predator for the rest of their life, there is absolutely no justice in America. If the courts don't decide to label a 14 year old who asked for a picture of your tits a sexual predator, as opposed to you who provided it, took the photo and didn't even check his age, then there's no justice in America. Okay. Because if this was an adult, if there was an adult going around, like walking around downtown, looking for mentally ill homeless women and offering them money to take pictures of them or touch them inappropriately, people would say that is a predator. No, I think technically that's called a John. No relation. That's a predator. It's out there looking for sexual gratification from people who are at their lowest, most vulnerable point. From people that are mentally ill, from women that are homeless. Offering them money, knowing that they're vulnerable, knowing that they're desperate, knowing that they need it. An adult that was out here doing that would be labeled a predator. It is predatory behavior. It is absolutely predatory behavior to go after somebody who is mentally ill and homeless and do what they're doing. I'm gonna say kid for all intents and purposes, but just making clear, we don't know. Uh, how was this kid supposed to know you're homeless and mentally ill if you didn't run around saying that, Mary? Mary, maybe you should stop leading off with that for pity. But because it's a child that did it, Y'all don't want to say that it's a predator because, well, he can't be. He's a, he's a child. He would have been the one that was being preyed upon. But no, because I didn't ask for anything. He messaged me. Uh, yeah, that would be the mitigating factor here is that this is a child and you're an adult. The fact that you can't grasp this makes me think you're kind of dangerous to be out in public. Knowing that I was homeless, knowing that I had mental health problems, knowing that I was desperate for help and money and... And they did it just so they could put me in prison because they don't like homeless people and they wanted to get back at a homeless person. They wanted to put a homeless person in prison. And they're going to. You know, they, they won. My life is officially over. They won. But his life is also over. I swear to God, I will fight. What did you think, huh? <laughs> that I was gonna roll over and die from an attack like that? You're nothing, just a trickster. I am a warrior. I will fight for the rest of my life to make sure that the person that did this is at least labeled a sexual predator so that for the rest of his life, he'll have to go around and tell his neighbors that when he was 14 years old, he was being predatory to mentally ill homeless women online.
It's fucked up. Just making sure I got your request correct. You want a 14-year-old boy to be labeled as a sexual predator because you showed him your tits. Because you don't want to take responsibility for not even asking this person's age. I finally got logged back into my Adresia account on Recolor. And I found the full conversation that I had with this person. Uh, NetX1 was the name that they were using. Um, started 29 months ago, so this is two and a half years ago that this began. Uh, I was still homeless at the time. They instigated the conversation completely. They sent the first message and they said, don't let anyone get you upset. I hope everything gets better for you. Nobody knows the struggles about being homeless unless you were homeless before. Ignore the negative comments. Don't pay them any mind or perspective. Now, some people on my YouTube are saying that this is very clearly a child. I should have been aware that this is a child messaging me, but this is not, to me, this does not tell me that they are a child. And you might say, well, what about their profile? There's nothing there. There is nothing. Let the truck, truck pass, I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, again, this is two and a half years ago. This is before COVID. Uh, this is apparently just after I met my friend in the Navy. Um, this is before he even gave me the truck because he didn't give me the truck for a couple of months after we took, uh, took, uh, met up again. Um, so I, ha I had no idea how I was supposed to be able to tell that this kind-hearted person was actually 14 years old. So then 27 months ago, two months after they, uh, we started, they started this conversation with me, which I had stopped responding to. So two months after they asked to news for some money, I didn't respond. So 17 months, that would be a year after. Um, so, yeah, about a year later, they, they messaged me and said, how far are your tits? Finally, I responded 16 months ago and said, are you still willing to pay for pics? Finally, I responded 16 months ago and said, are you still willing to pay for pics? 10 months after this person first hit you up for nudes, they were scrolling through their DMs and see you didn't get back to them. So he sends you another one like, what's up on those titties? A month after that, after the reasonable expectation for a response has expired, you get back to them being like, hey, do you still want those pics when you're desperate for money for weed? Because you also are scrolling through your DMs looking for marks. You're kind of making it sound like you did solicit this person. At this point, they just assumed you were gone. And then you come back out of nowhere. Hey, remember that offer you made for them titty pics? You're obligated. No, you're not as innocent as you say. But then again, I'm not convinced this is an underage kid. Though they are talking like a child, I ain't gonna lie, but so do a lot of people, myself included sometimes. I'm legit immature as shit. See, I just did it. They said yes if you got fat tits. So, need you to answer quicker. 15 months ago, it took three days for you to respond, but you need me to answer quick. No thanks, I already regret offering. Him, I... I don't use this site that much. It took 50 days and I'll give you $50 if you do it. My fault for rushing you. So they're saying that they have money, like a lot of money, which in my experience, a child would not have. Uh, it's my fault for coming at you like that. You still want the money? But I mean, the fact is he didn't send you any money. So that doesn't speak well for this being an adult. Had this person provided you with like a credit card payment, you could be, you'd at least have a leg to stand on. You'd say, well, they had a credit card, whoever they were. This person you just sent nudes to for free. Didn't even ask who they were, what their age was. Fuck it. Here they're very pushy and uh, arrogant and manipulative. They make trying to grab, trying to draw me back. 
because I had pulled back on the offer after they became kind of aggressive. <coughs> and so, send your cash app or PayPal. Finally, I responded, PayPal must slash Drastia and give me an email to send the pics. They asked you Snapchat, and I said no. I said I won't send them anyway but email, they're not worth anything anyway. I said, what's your email then? She said, you've got to show me how fat your tits are and I'll give you $60. Here's my email. And I responded, I sent one pic to them. I sent more once I get the money. They responded, we have to that out. And I said, I'm not sending anything, I'll stop payment. They asked, I'm asking you a question. I said, no. <laughs> they said, send me a picture of your ass and you'll get the money. I need to see. And I said, and you're obviously not going to pay to find out. And they said, yes, I am going to pay the question to my PayPal. And this is where I realized that they were not actually going to pay me for the picture that I took. And I went into complete panic, freak out mode. Oh, the BS rat, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, he says, I'm not using you. I told you I'm gonna send you money. And I said, why scare a homeless woman of her dignity? Because human beings are garbage. And he said, why would I scam you? I just need to see your ass. It doesn't matter if you wear the clothes or not. And I said, you're not gonna send anything. The next pick I said would be of you bleeding. I deserve to be bleed for being stupid enough to think I get a single dollar for this. And they said, yes, I would have. I am. I would have blocked you after you sent the first pick. I'll send the money. You're bugging me taking shit too serious. I said, no, because you want more free picks. Pay for the first pick. And then I just kept repeating my PayPal. And that is the end of the chat. After, after I put up my PayPal this many times, telling him to pay for the picture he received, uh, I, 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 I understood that it was a scam, and I reported it to the mods, and I made a thread letting other people on the forum be aware that there was a person uh, scamming naked photos from people. Um, and I, I made them aware of that because I was aware that there were some children on the site, and I didn't want a child to be scammed of naked photos. When I told y'all that this person had been stalking me and that they had, they instigated the conversation, they asked, they did not portray themselves to be a manipulator or a child. This was a setup. This was a setup from almost, for, for almost three years, they were trying, they were preparing for this. Like this is the, you, you can't you can't tell me that this was not set up. You can't. I didn't talk like this when I was fourteen. I, I'm not everybody I know, but I never imagined a child would do this to me. I never imagined a child would do this to me. All she had to do was say, "How old are you?" The hoops this woman will jump through to not be guilty of things blows my mind. This is the child's fault. The child is the predator and she's gonna ruin the child's life. She wants to make sure he is permanently ruined for this shit. Because she hit him up after a month demanding money for her titties. Ah, oh, Mary, what the fuck is wrong with you? made it back home, but I wasn't able to walk out any of this anxiety and stress that's eating me up right now. I never expected anybody to do this to me. I never expected that a child that would be online asking for things like that, offering money, being predatory to homeless women, to, to to hurt them, I, I, it's fucked up. I'm only finding out two and a half years later that they were 14. I'm 
just I'm I'm not okay, you know. I've been panicking all day. I I, I haven't slept. I haven't ate. My nerves are killing me. My nerves are just eating me alive right now because I don't know what's going to happen. I didn't know what I was doing when I did it because I didn't know how old the person was. And I wasn't thinking, I was just needing money. Yeah, we know. We know the links you will go to when you're out of weed. That doesn't speak well for you right now. I know I started this video being like, yeah, oh, there's about a 30% chance this kid was underage, but in all likelihood, it's just a troll. The closer and closer I get to the end, I'm like, okay, about 60 to 75 chance percent chance this was an underage kid that she just sent nudes to. A child came after me. And they're saying that that sounds stupid, that I'm a predator and the child was the victim, but the child pressured me. Look, I'm not calling you a sexual predator or a pedophile or anything like that. I'm calling you an, uh, my assertion is you're an idiot. But you need to stop talking. Because this sounds like some shit a pedophile or a sexual predator would say. The child offered money. The child knew about my severe mental health and my homelessness. And the child used those things to manipulate and hurt me. A pedophile is somebody who goes looking for children because they are sexually attracted to children. I received a message from somebody who I did not know was a child requesting to buy photographs from me. That's all I did. All I did was sell a single photograph of my breasts to somebody who I didn't know the age of. And just like that, you've admitted to a crime. Mary, it doesn't matter how many times a kid walks into a porn store and asks to buy the porn. It's the adult's responsibility to tell him no and kick him out of there. Not because I went to them and begged them to buy the picture, but because they came to me and begged me and pushed me and pressured me until I finally gave in. I am not attracted to children. I'm not attracted to anybody. I'm asexual. I don't get off on women or men. I have zero sexual feelings. Okay, first of all, once again, I don't think you're attracted to kids. And second, no, you're not asexual. You can't reproduce by yourself. Have a nice day. They're just going to come and say, well, you can't ever take any accountability for anything. Accountability for sending a photo of, of my breasts. Is that so ridiculous? Yes, in this case that you may have sent your tits to an underage boy, you need to take accountability for sending a photo of your breasts. Is that such a ridiculous concept for you? Intent matters. I was not intentionally looking for a child to conversate with. I was being manipulated. I was being led to believe that this person was going to pay me for photographs of myself. I was pressured and even after I changed my mind and said I wasn't going to do it, it kept pushing me. I had no intention of hurting a child. Do I believe that my breast hurt that child? No, I don't. And it's normal to have an interest in the female body. Yep, yeah, Mary, in the case of most boobs, I would say that's true. But in the case of yours, which I've seen unfortunately because you put them on the internet in other instances, it may have caused this kid some trauma. I'll say this though, I agree. It is normal for a 14 year old boy to go through ridiculous lengths to see some boobies. That's why it's the adult's responsibility not to provide pornography to children. 14-year-old boy's judgment in this matter cannot be trusted. It's not normal 
to go after grown adults and lie to them about money for photographs of the human body when you could easily see those online, but that's what happened to me. My only intention was to sell a photograph of my breasts for money. And if there's a market for those boobs somewhere, I say you do it, girl. Just make sure the person is 18. Which people do literally every day. There's a website dedicated to it. And I would be on OnlyFans if y'all would let me, but... But before you go on, I think you should know that OnlyFans website asks if you're 18 before you enter. So you lose again. When I post to OnlyFans, my video is taken and spread around free so that nobody will subscribe to me. So I can't sell my tits to adults. Okay, I know what you meant, but what you said was different. I don't know what else I can say. I'm waiting to be arrested and plead my case. And even though y'all don't think it matters, I know that when it comes to the law, intent matters. And they will be able to see that I had no intention of predatory behavior in that situation. Well, it's about a year and a half after that incident, and uh, nothing's ever come of it, so I'm going to assume that this wasn't a 14-year-old boy, or even if it was, he didn't go to the police. I would advise this video as a cautionary tale as to why you don't give Mary money in exchange for anything. If some commenter says you're a 14-year-old, they'll go to your account, dox you, call you a sexual predator, and uh, swear a fatwa on you to ruin your life. Never check if it was true, just totally slander you. And in doing so, admit that she's a really big idiot. Also, she believes that if she doesn't check the age of somebody before sending her nudes to them, that the child is the predator. Some of the things she says in the video we just watched and in the clips we just watched make me wonder if she should be wandering around with other people at all. So let's put it to bed. Did Mary send her nudes to an underage boy on the Recolor Me app and then claim that the boy is a predator. Uh, I can't say that she did. I can say that she sent her nudes to somebody she thought was a 14 year old boy, that she tried to label as a sexual predator and turn it all around on him, which was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I think she said some stupid fucked up shit, but I don't think I can go that far to be like, oh yeah, she totally did that. Still, it says some very interesting things about her that these are the arguments she made to defend herself. And if I lived around her and had a kid about that age, it would weird me out. That's about all I can say. Never let it be said that we didn't go into one of these Mayo the Series videos and find something that I said wasn't true. Now, of course, she'll say that I claim she's a pedophile. She'll say all kinds of fucked up shit. Wait, go check out her channel after this video drops. Uh, but you'll know at least. You'll know the truth. And you'll have yet another example that Adrasti is a pathological liar and these videos just have to be made. A record has to be made of what really happened and what she really put on the internet, said and did. Otherwise, she'll play histrionics and it'll just go away forever and she'll be believed at some point she is some baby bird victim who doesn't instigate with people. Who makes community posts and videos criticizing others for deleting content while I just cut a video of 40 deleted videos she did in just November. Atrassi has deleted over 2,000 of her videos, including the ones we're watching today. So, Mary, if you are watching this, I just want to let you know that the bad part about deleting videos is you, claim, you, you can't, can't claim copyright on them. They're mine now. YouTube will back that up, too. Have a nice day.